Hey everyone, so um, we're going to do a little test uh, render here. We're going to see, uh, I get a lot of questions asked on how to kind of create this cube right here, kind of this look and whatnot. So let's uh, jump in here and see if we can figure this out. All right. So this is Cinema 4D. This is the newest version, and I'm going to be using Octane. Uh, as the render engine. So uh, you're going to need Octane probably to get the same look. Um, I don't think it'll work in uh, physical render. It might. I've actually never tried it. It'll probably work in Blender. I uh, haven't tried it in there either. So we'll just jump in and see what happens. So first we're going to just create this all powerful cube here. <clears throat> I apologize if I cough at all. I'll try to edit that out. Um, okay. So let's get started here. So we created a cube. Let's go ahead and get the render going here, the live viewport, just to see what it looks like. Probably gonna be moving this guy all over the place. I could dock it, but I don't do that because I'm not that proficient. I, I have two screens, I usually just put it on the second screen, but I'm gonna leave it right here for now. I have a preset set that's gonna have path tracing on. These are all my settings for right now. Um. Let's see actually for whatever reason there's this like little bug where the settings actually don't take place until you like change something in here so I just move this one notch over it doesn't really matter for right now it just kind of resets the thing um, so okay so we're gonna create a material which I have my default materials actually set for octane but you'd go to create extensions octane just a standard material <clears throat> We're going to drop that on there. We're actually going to make this an emissive material. So it's going to be like the inside, the part that's glowing. So we don't need anything really besides the emission. Um, we'll do a black body surface brightness check on. And we'll drop this. 1350 is usually a good glow color that I like. Um, we'll scale that down. We're just going to duplicate this cube. So I'm going to hold down, I think it's control scale that up basically just creates a copy of what we did and this one's going to be kind of like our glass kind of transparent shader here so I'll delete that that material from up here create a new one drop that on there and then this one we are actually going to make this I think universe no yeah you know let's do universal no let's do specular <clears throat> okay, you can see what's going on here. It's pretty crazy. So what we're going to do is we're going to add a roughness to this <clears throat> and start kind of like adding some texture, some look, some variation to this look here. So I have a kind of a glass texture that I always like to use. You can either click on this or you can actually bring up, bring up your explorer. Find what you want. You can just drag it and drop it straight into here. Kind of starts giving you this look. The gamma, if you crank it up, it makes it uh, the the roughness like less rough. I think it, uh, the blacks will become much more black, and the whites more white. So as you can see, you can kind of see through it a little better. Um, so just kind of like however you want it to look. Now what we're going to do is we're going to give it a um, let's see here. How do I want to do this? Let's do displacement. Ooh, sorry, I had to mute. I had to cough for a second. <clears throat> we'll put this at 2048. And then there is a uh, image texture. And there's a program called uh, JS uh, Placement, which creates awesome displacement maps, which is what I use for a lot of these uh, displacement maps. <clears throat> Again, we'll just drag and drop this right here. And it's starting to look a little, you know, kind of cool. Uh, one thing you want to do is if you have like sharp 90 degree angles is I actually turn this from smooth normal to vertex normal. As you can see it, what it did right there, it kind of sharpens up those edges. And the reason for that here is I'll show you in just a second, this kind of adds a 
uh, cool look to the edges when you kind of push this mid-level up a little bit it kind of creates this like um, kind of like there's almost like this solid like line going around these edges which is kind of a cool look um, all right so the next thing we're gonna do is uh, we're gonna actually add I think a medium to this which will be a uh, random walk that does is it starts to kind of give a little density to the to the look to it or look of the square here and you can pull back this density slider to kind of kind of add some thickness to the uh, to that glass <clears throat> and if you want you can actually add a light kind of above it and you can kind of get a better uh, feel for what it's gonna look like here as far as the reflections and whatnot all right <clears throat> so we're kind of getting some cool looking here I'm actually going to make this universal, and I'll tell you why. Because I want to add a little bit of color here. Um, I don't want it necessarily completely white, which is actually kind of a cool look. Um, which, if it was white, it would be like that. But if you actually bring this down to black, it kind of gives this almost frosty look to it. Um, again, we can use the medium. We can pull that up a little bit, and if uh, you know, if we want, like, we're kind of going. There's, there's actually, so in this one, there's, there's, there's three cubes and that, um, actually I think I used a sphere for the light in the middle of this one, but so there'd be the light and the sphere in the, are uh, on the cube in the middle. There'd be this displacement cube, which is this one right here. And then there's an, uh, a cube with a opacity fall off map on this top part. And I'll show you how to do that in just a second. So <clears throat> let's just see, let's pull down the displacement just a touch. Maybe the maybe do something like that. It's kind of cool looking. I'm gonna pull the light off this side. Maybe like that, just so I can see some of the reflections happening. Something like that. Okay. For this last cube, again, we're just gonna duplicate that. Control C, Control V. We're gonna scale it up a little bit. We're gonna get rid of this texture. What I'm actually gonna do is I'm gonna duplicate this glass. So I'm just gonna hold down control, slide it over, create some copy. And with this one, I'm going to actually copy the image texture here into the opacity here, I think. And then I obviously need to apply that, which I wasn't doing. Let's scale this one up just a little bit so we can see what's happening. Um, we do not need, this can just be glossy actually, I believe, do something like that, um, let's see what else here, maybe, actually you know what, let's do, again, I think I did a fall off map here. Let's try something real quick. Let's do that. Let's do fall off map. What that does is like the the normals that are facing straight at the camera are more uh, see-through than the ones that are facing away from it. see there you can kind of play with those kind of see what looks good we don't want displacement on this one actually we just want opacity um, but what we can do is for the roughness instead of using this if we actually use that um, displacement texture for the roughness right here we'll just drop that in kind of start giving this broken up <clears throat> look here and so we can actually scale that down maybe just a little bit something like that and you can play with the gamma to get more of a broken up look um you can actually scale this texture as well if we wanted we could go to UV transform and just kind of start playing around with that 
see here. Play with this a little more. Sometimes these do a weird. Let's see, so X, Y, and then Z is coming out at us. So let's just see. Nope, don't want that. I don't think so on that. Negative one. Nope. Okay. Let's just see what happens here. It's probably that side. So sometimes, though, hang on, let's see here if we can actually. something maybe something like something like that <clears throat> again <clears throat> this is going to be playing with all these values over and over and over and over so if you want this cube to be more uh, see-through we can pull this back a touch let's say we want to make it a little bigger the middle inside light a little smaller um, you can go crazy and really scale up you can even do something like that where it's barely poking through um, maybe you know what maybe we can even get rid of that one and just keep this um, I mean, it really just depends on what you want it to look like I suppose Something kind of like that. Maybe even like push the displacement up a little higher, real extreme. Maybe that 4K is a little. <clears throat> Something like this. Play with the roughness. See the roughness is right there. You can play with the colors a little bit. Come up with some cool stuff. The transmission even, like if you play with transmission, you can get some cool looking lo looking things. Transmission doesn't usually work. If you have a, a, a color and it's on white, it won't work. You have to kind of pull it back a little bit, kind of find this middle ground. Um, you know, something like that might be kind of cool. Um, let's see here. Maybe sometimes the displacement going even lower it looks kind of cool. You can go. You can go over that too. You have to type it in. I think. Nope. No, you can't. Not on this one. At the mid level. Um. <clears throat> set that down. I guess that does need to be a little higher to push it through. Yeah. So yeah, something like that. It's kind of cool looking, actually. Um, this guy, I don't really dig in the way that looks, actually. <clears throat> Let's try and maybe just copy this material exactly. The opacity. Maybe paste in... Displacement. Let's see what this looks like. You know, medium. Let's do transmission just back like it normally is. I think it's white. Displacement. When I mean, you can put displacement on this one, again, it's up to you. It starts kind of that last cube here kind of starts to slow things down quite a bit. Um, let's see here. Yeah. So it's just again, it's kind of whatever you think looks good um, compositionally you can you know where you set like a light um, where you want it reflecting the amount of reflection stuff like that always you know play into account and then 
you got it like a, a volume here. You should put that up. Twelve hundred. It's kind of my go-to. And then you kind of start getting something that looks kind of cool. And you can set this in, you know, whatever you want. Just it can be a sci-fi scene or or whatever. smaller just to get some god rays going on here. <clears throat> Let's see. Top one. There we go. Yeah, and again, so like on these materials, it's just um, you get this kind of cool see-through look with this transmission. Again, um, the one I did in this one doesn't actually even have that. Um, but again, you can add it to it and it gets a really cool look. Play with the displacement, play with the mid levels, scale the displacement, which you have to do through the UV transform. Um, you know, you want to scale it down and really add like a ton of just little details to it. Pull that up and then you get kind of a cool, cool looking thing here. Maybe volume is a little, a little too much. Pull it down just a little. Yeah. So, anyway, that's how I get that cube look. Um, and it's just kind of duplicating cubes, manipulating the textures a little bit, and then you know you can also, um, I kind of get the white look, uh, the white kind of blown out, um, uh, orange look through. Just scale this up a lot so you can kind of see what I'm talking about. Turn that off so it's a little faster. Camera imager, check that on. And if you pull this thing up, saturate to white, what that does is any like really bright colors, as you can see here, now almost kind of have like this white look to them instead of that yellow. Um, so that's a cool little trick that I use. I, I use that every time I create something actually. Um, post processing, obviously, you can get your blooms a little bit, kind of add a little, a little bit of that to it. Specular intensity, kind of, <clears throat> sorry, spectral intensity. It kind of adds like you can see right here, this kind of green and red uh, start to happen. It's kind of a cool look, also. Anyway, yeah, so that's that's uh, kind of how I get that look. So hope you guys can do something with that.